Hello, and welcome to the Follow the Moon Challenge. My name is Allison. I will be your host on this journey with the moon. Every day there will be a video uploaded to YouTube that will help you connect to the moon energy and the zodiac sign that the moon is currently in for the day. This will help you get familiar with that energy and to see how you kind of react to it or respond to it or connect to it. Follow along in your moon journal or it just a regular journal will do or the Just a Phase moon planner and be sure that you're tracking your mood and your mood tracker for the month. Every video will list the moonrise time in Eastern Standard Time, and it will also list the meridian time, which is when the moon should be directly overhead in the sky so that you can make a point to try to go outside and see if you can spot the moon and connect to its energy. I'm so excited to go down this moon rabbit hole with you. Thanks for following along on this journey. Be sure to like the video every day and make sure that you're subscribed with the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload our new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me in Wonderland today. I hope you enjoy today's video. Today is day three of the Follow the Moon Challenge, and we have a waxing crescent Pisces moon. The moon will rise at 8.24 a.m., and it will be in the meridian of the sky around 2.11 p.m. this afternoon. Since we've been in Pisces energy for a little bit over a day, uh, make sure you're tracking in your, in your mood tracker how you feel on Pisces days. This will help you to look ahead in the upcoming moon cycles to know, hey, I feel like this on Pisces days, so I should plan to do these things. I typically don't plan like the things that I have to use my brain for on Pisces. I have sig significant Pisces placements in my chart, so I just really find it difficult to focus. I just want to daydream. I want to create things. I want to um, play and, you know, I'm, I might feel emotional on water days. So if I have to sit down and do my taxes or any sort of like <laughs> math or something that I need to be logically thinking about, it just doesn't work out very well. So then I'm struggling and forcing myself to do things that my brain and my body are just like, no, <laughs> we're not doing this today. And this is where I'll start to get emotional because this is a water sign and we're talking about emotions. And if I plan things that I'm just not energetically able to do for that day, that's when I start beating myself up. I start feeling down about myself. Like, why can't you do this? What's wrong with you? Like, and, and you just start to spiral. So planning things that are appropriate for Pisces days is what helps stabilize your mood and not get trapped in those emotions. Pisces wants to dream and is very abstract and we can connect to our spirituality on Pisces days. So pull out your tarot cards, pull out your journal, pull out your watercolors and your paints and do something creative. Allow yourself to just float around. And this is also a time to like tap into your intuition. Use your gut instincts to plan your day and to make decisions throughout your day. So this is just my experience. That's why I encourage you to track what's go, uh, what, how you feel on these days in your mood tracker because it's going to be different for everybody. And that's why I've given you the blank space on the Zodiac pages as well to write how you relate to Pisces energy, how you relate to all the different Zodiac signs. And to come up with your own keywords that just unlock like what that energy means for you. But this also gives you an opportunity to look at the qualities of Pisces that you maybe wish that you had or Piscean qualities that you love about yourself. On a Pisces day, I'm going like I love wearing blues and watery colors. So I get to put on my favorite outfit and like feel authentically myself. If you struggle to tap into water energy, wearing water colors is going to help you to tap into that energy as well. The water exercise that we do at the end of 
this video is a really wonderful way to connect to water energy. Um, but if you if you're like a very earthy person and you admire the dreamy creative side of Pisces, try to do something creative today. Step out of your comfort zone. For me personally, I struggle connecting to earth energy. So on earth days, I try to do something earthy. I, on Virgo days, I try to get organized. On Capricorn days, I really try to be strict with myself and like, hey, you, f your future Allison is going to really appreciate if you do this thing today, if you stay on task, if you achieve those goals and check off those things on your list. However, Pisces doesn't care about checking things off their list. So try to do something today that inspires your creativity, that comforts and nourishes your emotions and your soul. Pisces gives you permission to do something today that fills your cup something that really nourishes and replenishes your energy and your spirit. Allow your mind to wander and daydream during the day. Drink lots of water today. Do something that really connects you to the water element. Take a walk near a creek or a stream or a lake that might be in your area. Uh, take a cleansing bath. Do something creative that connects you to the water element today. Although the moon is waxing, meaning increasing, we are still so very close to the new moon and we only have just the tiniest sliver of light at this time. A waxing crescent moon this close to the new moon combined with watery energy that can sometimes feel a little bit heavy, you might not have that much energy today still. So that's why we can use this Pisces energy to kind of like dream a little bit and explore new pathways and ideas that we learned on the Aquarius new moon. And we can kind of dream and expand on those ideas with the Pisces energy. And then when we move into Aries, you might be feeling that jumpstart or spark of, of movement and energy. So use the water energy of today to cleanse and clear so you are feeling refreshed and ready to go with Aries tomorrow. We are going to do the same water exercise that we did yesterday, infusing our beverage with positive intentions and affirmations so that we can kickstart that momentum and stay hanging out in this positive watery energy versus negative energy. For this exercise, you will need just simply a glass of water. You can use any kind of beverage, a cup of tea, your morning coffee, or your afternoon coffee. Um, you can use a bowl of cereal, a bowl of soup, just any form of beverage <laughs> liquid in a container that you will consume. We will just take a moment to get grounded and centered, do some deep breathing, um, and then I will ask you to clasp uh, whatever container you are using and think of any and every positive thought that you can for, we're going to be doing this exercise for a minute. Uh, Abraham Hicks says that it only takes 17 seconds to shift your, or to change your momentum from negative to positive. So... Um, you can use your own positive mantra or any that pop into your mind. Uh, however, I will be prompting some positive messages as well. So we will be taking three deep breaths together, inhaling through our nose, holding our breath for a few seconds, and then exhaling through your mouth. And we're going to do that three times. So get in a comfortable position and grasp your beverage and hold it in your hands. You can say these mantras out loud or you can simply say them in your mind while you're holding your beverage. So take a deep breath in. Hold. And exhale through your mouth. Inhale in. Hold and exhale through your mouth. One last time, inhale in, 
hold and exhale through your mouth. Everything is working out for me today. I am divinely guided, protected, and connected to my highest good. I love and support myself where I am. Today is a good day. Everything is working out for me today. I am divinely guided, protected, and connected to my highest good. I love and support myself where I am. Today is a good day. Everything is working out for me today. I am divinely guided, protected, and connected to my highest good. I love and support myself where I am. Today is a good day. And take a deep breath and open your eyes and consume your beverage while holding this positive frequency. Thank you for joining me on this follow the moon challenge journey. I encourage you to watch these videos whenever you can. Don't feel pressured if you've missed a day. You can watch seven of them in a row at the end of a week or you can watch them uh, in the evening before you go to bed. You don't have to watch them on the premiere. So just meet yourself where you are. That is how what the moon teaches us is whatever phase you're in right now, just meet yourself there and then you can continue to build and grow on that. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderfully dreamy and Pi Piscean day today. If you don't already have your own copy of the Just a Phase Moon Planner, be sure to check out my website, priestessofwonderland.com for the digital version. And there are also links on that website for the hard copy as well. I appreciate you so much. Be sure to be using the follow the moon hashtag if you uh, find yourself in a watery Pisces scenario today and would like to share it with us. I would love to see it. I will see you tomorrow. We are transitioning from Pisces to Aries and I hope to see you then. Have a good day.